Have you made up your mind? Crown? I'm sorry, but I'm going back. <sighs> That's the conclusion you've drawn after all of this? Is that so? I understand. The secret passage is still safe. You can leave through there. You aren't asking why? If I did ask, would you tell me? <sighs> In the end, what you need is Talos's abilities, not mine. I leave Talos behind. Chime and I are similarly built, so she should be able to commandeer Talos. I mean, that's a solid plan, but it kind of sucks. That will make her quite happy. I know looking after someone as useless as me must not have been easy, but I tried my best, you know? She's gonna leave, and then she's gonna be like, no, I must come back and fight. Ugh. I just noticed that she has a little black ribbon here, which is very cute. I really did. It just didn't work out. You're all such nice people, too, which made it so much harder. I was nothing but a burden, and... Yet you all still did everything you could to care for me. I... I don't think I can endure it. I want to contribute. I want to be able to help. You already were, Kilo. That's not true. You can't say that's true. Not without Talos. I'm no help to anyone. Oh, she's crying. <sighs> no one could ever possibly need me. There's no place for me in this world. Oh, oh emo girl right here. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Of course there is. What? There is someone who needs you. There is a place which needs you. Where? Who? Hmm. Talos should know. Put your hand on Talos's chest and ask. Huh? I'll give you some privacy. After struggling to get up while coughing, Crown staggers out of the room. Oh, she's still feeling the uh, alpha particles. <sighs> Damn. That's a huge ass debuff for her. Why does she want me to ask Talos? I don't understand. Just do it. Kilo places one of her hands on Talos' chest while it is charging. The smooth surface of the metal can be felt underneath her fingertips. <sighs> Talos, Crown mentioned that there's a place where I belong. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> She's so dumb. Processing. I knew it. There's no way such a thing exists. What was I expecting? I'm such a fool. Hmm? Hilo carefully looks at Talos' chest. Then at the arms. What? Then at the waist and the legs. Why is this? Finally, she ends up gazing at Talos's head. Talos? Yes. Oh, what a such a wholesome graphic. Why? Why is it that there isn't a single scratch near the cockpit? Your entire body is riddled with gashes, save for that area. Why? Processing. It is because I must protect Kilo. Why? Ah, I see. If the pilot were to perish, you would be unable to perform certain advanced functions. Processing. It is because Kilo created me. What? You gave me my name. I am a TAVH Operator Assisted AI System, yet you bestowed me with a name. When you did that, I was able to define myself. AI? Since that day, I have prioritized Kilo's safety above all else. Oh, <laughs> That's actually very touching. I established a procedure to protect you no matter what. Just because I gave you a name? In naming me, you gave me life. That is why I protect you. Oh, and the music fits the, the mood so well. But all I did was give you a name. No, that is not all. 
I remember everything. You were proud of me. Whenever I performed better than what was expected of me, you shed tears of joy and shared the news with everyone you knew. I still remember your smile when you told me what challenge was up next. It is my greatest pride and joy. Yes, pride and joy. I, I've always felt so inferior compared to you. That is my fault. I failed to meet your expectations, and that created stress, which led to self-doubt. And for that, I apologize. If my performance had been adequate, you would have continued to be proud of me. I will continue to research and develop further, so that you can be proud of me once again. I don't understand. Why do you care so much what I think about you? I'm nothing compared to you. You are the only pilot for me, Kilo. You take pride in my accomplishments. You are my processing reason for living. Ooh, what a line. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have, I have, I have something for this. <laughs> the bond between Anike and his, and his pet robot. <laughs> Reason for living. Oh, what a line. I will not give up on myself. For your sake. So please, don't give up on yourself, for my sake. Wow! If you don't give up on me, I'll do the same for you. In doing that, we can become stronger. Yeah. Wow! That writing though! Okay, I'll take the tears off. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry mm. for all the harsh words I've ever said to you for treating you so badly I'm sorry for everything if I'm being honest I was full of hubris I wanted us to accomplish things so that I could brag about them to other people but it didn't go as I thought you are superior and I'm severely lacking in comparison I felt like I was holding you back, and jealousy began to fester within me. That's why I've behaved the way I have. I'm sorry. I understand, Kilo. Going forward, my suggestion is that we help each other become stronger. Yes! Yes! That's exactly what we'll do. All right then. It's a promise. Oh my gosh! Wow! Thank you, Talos. Thank you, Kilo. Kilo and Talos shake hands while looking at each other. I see it now. It's been here all along. A place just for me. A place and a person I need. And need me in return. Okay, that was a little weird and kind of cringe. A place that's all my own. Oh, what a what a what a nice scene. Chatterbox is entering the castle gate. Wait, we beat him. Who does he think he is? He's acting like he has free run of the place. <laughs> hey, Talos has uh, some cheekiness too. Come again? <laughs> Kilo's like, what the fuck did you just say? I am attempting to use the joke function you installed, as I felt it might help with socializing. Now is not the time for jokes. It's coming right for us. You human imposters. I will annihilate each and every one of you. Damn. Uh. Right. Crash. A searing wall of flame rushes towards the group. Are we going to fight Nihilister? Uh. Kilo. What happened? R run. Huh? Kilo looks at the status panel inside the cockpit. Nano coding activation 0%. All parts except the cockpit are in critical condition. Talos. 
Kilo looks around. Snow White, Scarlet, and Rapunzel are lying on the ground. Oh my gosh! What? All around her are patches of black, scorched earth, and tendrils of fire. In front of her, Chatterbox stands, smoke fumes pouring out of his body. Lost? Only the emergency escape function remains. Power insufficient. Restoration impossible. You must escape. You must survive. Beep. Talos! 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 Wake up! There is no movement or any it's response. Over! Uh, emergency escape? No. I have to stop it. Uh, how? Uh. So that robot of yours is a means to stay on the surface for an extended period? That's right. It uses the same core that Nikkei's use for its power source, so it lasts a long time. It does need to be recharged from time to time, though. It's covered in a layer of nanomachines, so it's capable of minor self-repairs. Thud, thud, thud. Oh, he approaches. Chatterbox approaches, staggering. <sighs> oh, that took a lot out of him. Hellos? Thank you for always keeping me safe. Now, it's time I protect you. Is she gonna attach her cord to him? Snap. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> Kilo takes one of the power cables at the bottom of the cockpit, snaps it, and shoves the end into her chest. Whoa, what a graphic. I mean, I said it, but I wasn't actually expecting it. <laughs> Zap. We have the same power source. Connecting the core strip. Beep. It worked. Let's go. Let's win this together. Talos, wake up. Forced power injection for restart. Nano coating activated. Restore it. I mean, Chatterbox is really right there. Restoration complete. All conditions good to go. Wow. Okay. Something is flowing into my core. Is this what they call a heart? <laughs> huh? That, I mean, that, that's kind of funny, all, given the situation. Don't be ridiculous. I'm using my own core to supply power to you. <laughs> nice, Kilo. I know. I was merely exercising the joke function again. That was a good joke. I don't think we'll be able to keep you running like this for long. Correct. Estimations show approximately three minutes of operation time. Any longer and self-termination will ensue for both parties due to recoil between the cores. Only three minutes? Yes. However, the use of dual cores is allowing for a power throughput which exceeds the ordinary threshold. To put it simply, I am operating in a more highly effective state. Let's settle this within three minutes, then. Let's go, Talos. I've got your back, and you've got mine. Roger. Chance of success? 100% guaranteed. <laughs> Is that a part of his joke function? It's this! Oh. Oh, what a good graphic. This could be a, a promotional poster that they to promote this event. As long as we fix it later. Oh, don't you worry. I'll give you a nice golden arm. Chatterbox's fist swings at Talos, but Talos twists and blocks with the left arm. Crack. The wireframe crumbles in an what? instant. You've become stronger. Aim for the head! Roger. Crack. Oh. See, D, we need more panels like this. I mean, I'm, I'd be down for more animations, but like, I'm, I think there are definitely some crucial scenes that could benefit from more animations like this. Talos' fist slams into Chatterbox next. Take him. Nothing more. Fire everything we've got. Man. Headshot. Headshot. The barrage of bullets fired at point blank range tear Chatterbox's neck in tatters. You bother some fly! Pull it out and toss it away like the trash it is! 
Concentrate power on the right arm. Oh! Rip his head off! Get him! Keep it up! Roger. I'll do my best. Is this the end of Chatterbox? Or is it is he is he ripping it off or is he crushing it? You son of a Oh, 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 Chatterbox, the potty mouth. Calm down. We're just crushing your head. Get lost! Can never come back! Yeah! Dunk. Throwing sequence initiated. Wait, no, no, don't throw it. Keep it in Oh no, that's how he gets to that's how he gets revived! Oh my gosh, it's Final Fantasy XIV all over again with Imeric. And it becomes smaller and smaller before fading into the distance. Thud. Chatterbox headless body collapses lifelessly on the ground and then disintegrates. How come you're out of breath? I'm the one who did all the heavy lifting. <laughs> Maybe we need to turn off that joke function. Because I was so nervous! The cores are nearing the self-termination threshold. I'm manually shutting down power. I will see you later. All right. Good work. I'm so tired. I can barely move. I hope the others can take care of the rest. Oh.